Uh, right now guys, today we're going to have a look at the round lashing. The round lashing is simply used in pioneering tasks to join two lengths of wood together to create a longer length of wood. We may use it for something like a flagpole, but more likely we're going to use this uh, in the building of bridges or structures uh, such as shelters and so on. Alrighty, so... When we're going to start our round lashing, we need to kick off with a, a simple clove hitch. So, alrighty, now we have our very basic clove hitch here, nice X shape. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to bind this. Now there's no frapping involved, it is just very simply um, just binding this. Now the key to this knot is tension. Now I'm using a natural fibre rope and I'm using two pieces of dowel. The disadvantage of using dowel for this kind of thing is that it doesn't resist itself very well. But the advantage of using the... Uh, so ideally you want to be using natural wood that you might find in a forest or a woodland. And ideally you're going to want to be using uh, a natural fibre rope just as I am here today. Now, I would suggest real time that we use um, what have I got here now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A minimum of eight wraps. Um, you may wish to use more, that's okay. Now, we're just simply going to tie this off with a clove hitch. So now we have our first clove hitch. Now the critical point of this, uh, um, of the way that we use our round lashing is that um, because we're joining two poles together, we need to put a second lash in here to create the stability. So let's do that. Alrighty, there we go. That's our two round lashings. As I say, you want to keep it as tight as you can, as well packed as you can, and that way what you're going to do is create a really nice strong knot which is going to support the structure which is the is what you're building it for there we go you guys i really hope you enjoyed today's video please like subscribe and share i'll catch you in my next video